So these extractors here work every time you drill out the whole entire bolt as far as you can go and then you can thread this in and it'll take the pressure off the threads and it'll come out. But we'll try these. These are speed outs and what this is supposed to do is like it, it, they're made for drywall screws really when you strip the heads but we'll try this grinding the metal away there flipping it over and then using this twist so it has two ends here this is the end and this will kind of give it the right size so it can extract it so what we'll do is just run this run it the wrong way <laughs> make sure to put some oil on this we don't want to totally burn out the drill bit now we can go ahead and flip this bit around to the extractor side here now let's try extracting it Yep, it broke the bolt. So since it broke the head of the bolt off, the rotor can come off now, but once we get that off, we'll be able to maybe grind that out or try to extract it, but it's not too big of a deal. So now we have that off, we can just tap around here. There we go, now you can see it moving, not to mention the giant pile of rust that's falling off of it. Now we can wiggle that off. Since we have this nice divot in here, that's gonna keep us centered when we're drilling. And that's uh, one of the hard parts, not to go off centered and drill into the threads. And then we'll use this eighth inch bit to drill all the way through. And then we'll go a little bit bigger, as big as we can without harming the threads. And then that'll weaken it. And then we can use that small extractor to kind of take that out. So now we'll put some oil in there because oil will keep your bits sharp and that's important. And we can go ahead and start drilling carefully. So if you're going to have a lot of drill bits, make sure you got a pile of eighth inches because they seem to break all the time and they're one of the most common, like using for popper bits and different things, including this. So there we go. Keep the bit sharp. So this bolt is hardened steel and we can't drill through it, so we're just going to use the torch to try to re-temper it. So we're going to bring the bolt up to cherry red, and then when it cools down, it won't be hard to steel. So now that this is a little softer, seems to be cutting a little better. So it's important to go all the way through the bolt here. You can see we have it drilled all the way through and that will actually weaken the structure of the bolt so we can take it out the rest of the way with the extractor. Now we're going to use this as extractor to go in there and try to take it out except you want to be careful with this one because if you snap this, this is hardened steel as well and it'll be very hard to get out. So now we'll go the next size up in drill bits because the extractor wouldn't quite get it out and we don't want to snap it so we're going to weaken it a little bit more. So now with it drilled to the next size we're going to try putting the extractor back in and see if we can get it to move. So now we'll take it one more size up. So we have it to the point where it's very, very thin. You can actually see the threads in there. So what we're gonna do is measure this screw that we got out. And this is a 1.0 thread and it's a M4. So if we look at our tap, 
we have an M4 1.0, so this is what we want. And what we're gonna do is, since it's a very thin shell, we're just gonna slowly run tap through and just be very careful right here and run it through and you'll feel it grab. So you'll wanna go a little bit and then back it off and just take your time. If you snap a tap in here, you're not gonna get it out. So make sure you have plenty of oil on there to help it keep moving smoothly. And then the tap should be following the original threads. We're not making new ones. We're just cleaning out the old ones. And taps aren't meant to withstand a lot of pressure. So if it starts getting to be a lot of pressure, back it off and just really take your time. So now we can go ahead and take this tap out. We have that thread all cleaned up. And while we have the tap out, we can go ahead and do the other hole because it sure is nice to have clean threads when you're putting everything back together. Make sure to keep oil on the tap and keep it running smooth. And everything it bottomed out. You, these taps can be like pretzels. You want to be really careful with them because if you snap them in there, you're gonna have a really hard time getting these out. Now that these threads are clean, that's much better. So now we can clean this up. It'll be much better and easier to put in next time and I can assure you we're gonna put anti-seize on this time because now everything will be much easier to take out next time all of this could have been prevented now we should be able to thread this in nice and easy and it should go in smooth